Welcome back third graders for today's ELA McGraw-Hill lesson. This week we're focusing on Unit 5, Week 4. Your passage for today, Dolores Huerta, Growing Up Strong. So there's several things we need to learn today. First of is the genre, and the genre is the type of passage or story. So the genre for today is biography. And you may be wondering, well, what is a biography? A biography is a true story about a real person's life. It is usually written by another person. Biography. Written about someone's life, but told by someone else. So there are some text features we need to that are common in most biographies. Some of those are timelines, photographs, and captions. For today's lesson, we're gonna focus on timelines and captions. So let's move on. So what we need to do right now is identify features that tell you that Dolores Huerta, Growing Up Strong, is a biography. So as you can see, I have a heading here and I already have a photograph. Those are text features that are common in nonfiction. Biography is a nonfiction text. So what are some text features that we see besides the photograph and the heading? We see, circled in green, the caption. And a caption tells about a photograph. It gives information that is not included in the text. So we're not going to find this information here where it says Dolores Huerta speaks out for farm workers at a rally in 1969. That information is not here in these three paragraphs. Okay, there is another feature besides the caption I told you we were going to focus on today. Do you remember? That's a timeline and that's below. And this timeline is on pages 378 and 379. So what's a timeline? A timeline shows the time order in which important dates and events happened. So looking at the timeline that you see on your screen, in 1998, Dolores, this timeline is about Dolores, Dolores earned a Human Rights Award from President Clinton. Now let's practice. So it's going to be your turn. As you listen to the passage again today, I want you to look at the timeline on pages 378 and 379. And here's the question I want you to try to answer. And it is, in what year did Dolores Huerta meet Cesar Chavez? What year did she meet him? You're gonna need to look at your timeline and it's not featured here. So think about that as you practice biographies. In your packet, your practice packet, I want you to do page 236. Again, 236, and you're looking at features for genre, for biographies. Remember, we've covered heading, photograph, and today we focused on captions and timelines. So give it a try. Let's move on. So, your spelling words for this week are words that end with Y, and when do we change them to I? So we have a few words at the top. Tries, plays, tried, and trying. So you're gonna sort your spelling words down below in the word box. There are three levels for this spelling activity. This is the first level. When you're done sorting, so let's say I sort, I click and move, drawing because it ends with ing and it still has the y. Let's try another. Cried has ied and I see ied up here. And we need a word that ends with y and we added a suffix with an s. Hmm, is it flied? Stays, dries, or cries? Which one do you think belongs in the box? Stays, dries, or cries? Good, stays. 
And finally, tries has I-E-S. Can you find any of the words down below that end with I-E-S? There are two. Good. Hope you were thinking tries. So again, sort the words, click check, and then move on to level two and three. Two and three. And then you're done with this spelling activity. And your last activity for today, we're going to focus on author's point of view. Yes, we talked about author's point of view last week. Well, it's back again today. So I want you to focus on author's point of view. And it says, what is the author's point of view? Well, point of view is what an author thinks about a topic. We're going to look for details that show what the author thinks and decide if you agree with the author's point of view. To do this activity, you're gonna to need to work on page 232 in your practice packet. 232. We're gonna look at Dolores Huerta, this passage. And remember, what do good citizens do? You're going to reread or re-listen to how Dolores' actions helped many people. Let's get started with author's point of view. So, reread the passages from Dolores Huerta, Growing Up Strong. We're going to highlight details that show how the author's point of view about Dolores Huerta. We're going to write details in the graphic organizer. So this is why you need your page, 232, because you can pause the video and copy down the details that you will see on the screen shortly. So this passage that you see here is from page 377, and I'll reread it. Dolores Huerta learned to help people by watching her mother. Good citizenship was important to her, and she taught Dolores that women can be strong leaders. When Dolores grew up, she had the same beliefs. Again, this is page 377 in the passage. So we're focusing on what does the author think? What is the author's point of view about Dolores? Are there any details you see here? There's one highlighted. Good. Citizenship. Says Dolores learned to help people by watching her mother. Good citizenship was important to her, and she taught Dolores that women can be strong leaders. So the author must think that Dolores was a good citizen. And there it is. Dolores' mother taught her to be a good citizen and a strong leader. Copy this detail onto your de um, thinking map. Let's move on. Again, another uh, passage from your book, and it's page 378. And the heading here is Dolores Huerta, Growing Up Strong. And this passage is a, from the section, Dolores goes to school. So what we have highlighted, trying to help the children was a daring thing for Dolores to do. The other teachers did not agree with her ideas. Dolores risked a lot, but her beliefs did not waver. She decided to do something about the unfairness she saw. She wanted to find a better way to help farmer, farm workers and their families. So what is the author's point of view about Dolores on this page? One of those highlighted words is your answer. Is it daring, waiver, or unfairness? Let's take a look. Trying to help the children was a daring thing for Dolores to do. So on this page, in this passage, paragraph, the author feels like Dolores was daring. Now let's check. Helping her students was a daring thing for Delor Dolores to do. Please copy this detail onto your thinking map. All you'll have to do is, using your textbook, pause your video when you are rereading or listening to the passage, and I want you to use page 379. 379. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's practice. So on page 379, 
these paragraphs can be found. I want you to find a detail that proves the author's point of view about Dolores. And in the text box at the bottom on page 232 in your practice book, you're going to, I want you to pause the video and copy down this sentence and fill in the blank. So on page 379, the author states that Dolores was blank and blank. There are two answers. Find it. And then find a detail. You need one more detail on your thinking map, boys and girls. Please give it a try. That's it for today, and I'll see you tomorrow.